COVID-19 vaccine, obese adults might not get full protection. Scientists are unsure if a potential COVID-19 vaccine can work optimally in people with obesity. Reports from CNN and Kaiser Health News highlighted the role of obesity in immune response. The more severe the obesity, the more unlikely for the vaccine to work. Ross Schick, an associate professor of nutrition at the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill, said, Will we have a COVID vaccine next year tailored to the obese? No way. Will it still work in the obese? Our prediction is no. Obesity is a complex disease and associated with other illnesses, such as heart disease, hypertension, and cancer. The disease alone increases the risk of death from those illnesses. In the emerging field called immunometabolism, the disease is observed to interfere with the ability of the immune system to respond correctly. In the healthy setting, the immune system knows when to switch inflammation on and off to respond to infections and prevent damaging healthy cells, respectively. Vaccines depend on the inflammatory mechanism of the immune system. But obesity elevates blood pressure and blood sugar, and that represents chronic mild inflammation. It means inflammation is actively turned on even without an infection. This chronic inflammation is correlated to specific molecules released by adipose tissue in different organs. The more adipose tissue there is, the more of those molecules are produced. Even though the mechanisms are not yet exactly known, medical research suggests that chronic inflammation affects a protective benefit from vaccines. People who are obese may still be subject to illnesses after receiving doses. According to WebMD, the chance of morbidly obese people of dying from COVID-19 is up to 60% compared to those with normal weight. While those who are moderately obese are 30% more likely to need breathing support or to die from COVID-19. Mild obesity has a 10% risk of breathing support or premature death. Dr. Michaela Anderson at Columbia University Irving Medical Center said that obesity risk poses a threat to people younger than 65 years. The initial phases of the pandemic in New York showed that 25% of patients died and 22% were mechanically ventilated. Many of those were young adults and obese individuals. Still, people who are obese should get the vaccine once available. It is better to be vaccinated than not, regardless of weight.